When he starts doing this, it's about time to get rid of a high chair. It's back to school time and one of the things we have to do is try on all our pants from last year and see if they all fit. Kaysen's being a good sport, trying on some pants for school. What is going on? You... What'd you do to your dog? You don't love her though, do you? I love her so much. She's my favorite dog. You don't love your dog? <laughs> well, it's a good thing we're keeping her, huh? <laughs> Hope she does good when we go back to school. Bryson, what'd you do? Yeah. Oh, good thing it's a washable marker. It should come off to get him on it. Oh, Bryson. I love you, Trouble. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, look at all these cute kids. We're watching a Mario game on TV, let it, like a walkthrough, and they are all playing with remotes to like remote control cars. Oh, you've got two? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cute. You guys are adorable. It's back to school time, and one of the things we have to do is try on all our pants from last year and see if they all fit. So Miss Avery here is doing that for me. We're going through all her old pants and leggings and seeing if they fit and if they're comfortable. She does a dance test to make sure they're comfortable. And then what was the other test? A run test. And then there's one other test she does. A climb test. And so I think those are long enough and those are a keeper then, right? Okay. We have a giveaway pile. And then we have a keep pile. I just brought the whole drawer in here. So at least we've got a lot in our keep pile. I don't know if we'll have to buy a whole lot more. All right, pants fitting. Kaysen's being a good sport. Trying on some pants for school. Those look like they fit. No, don't. those are the ones we still have to try on, silly. Okay, those still fit you. Where do you want this lane to be? All right, got a couple more and we're almost done. We have two days left, well more like, like a day and a half, and I have to go back Thursday and today is Tuesday. So we are putting the little kids in daycare to kind of get them used to the routine, and I've got the two big kids here. We are having snack right now, but we have been going to bed at a regular time and practicing getting up early. Um, today we woke up by seven, tomorrow we're doing 6.30. Yeah, you were a little earlier. Um, today we were do or tomorrow we're doing 6:30, and we're getting the kids, the little kids, longer at daycare. So um, Bryson and, and Dax went to daycare at 10 today, and we'll aim at 9 tomorrow, and they'll be there by 8 on Thursday. Um, they didn't really like going to daycare. I feel kind of bad, but we have to get them used to it. And I've been trying to do it kind of gradually get them back into it regularly because um, it's always hard for them to make that shift back. Um, the big kids are excited to go to the YMCA and play there um, while mom and dad are at work. And I don't know how Miss Rosie's gonna do. She's not gonna like it. Um, she's not responsible enough to be by herself all day yet. So she'll be outside part of the time and then the kennel another part of the time. Um, and we'll see how it goes. As she gets more comfortable with the house, then she'll get to stay out longer, and well, stay in the house longer. Um, for right now, she'll probably go out in the mornings while it's still cool in the mornings, and then we'll let her in at lunch and kennel her. Um, I don't wanna have to kennel her, so hopefully she can learn to get along with the cats and learn not to potty in the house, and then she won't have to be kenneled in the afternoon. So anyway, that's the plan. I am working on lesson plans. I should have done lesson plans earlier, 
but um, they I kind of put it off because it's been kind of a busy summer but also I don't have any new classes that I'm teaching I'm teaching things I've taught before so my lessons are mostly done I just need to like tweak them here and there um, but I kind of put it off so that's what I'm trying to work on while everybody is at daycare so getting back in the swing of things school starts in just a few days it's exciting when he starts doing this it's about time to get rid of high chair yep you're gonna fall and break your cute little noggin so we're getting too big for the high chair it may be time to move us up to the table hey sit down on your booty sit down good boy good listener thank you you got what a new wand. A new and I'm going um, to try and tame this pet. This girl's last day of summer break today. I go back to work tomorrow. And she is doing math problems. She's got her calculator and her multiplication chart that we made. And she's working two lines that are going the same way and following each other. They do not cross each other. They don't cross each other. Like this one? Looks pretty close. Oh. What? <laughs> Love you, baby. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mommy goes back to work today. Here, have a fruit pouch. Cause you still don't have school yet, but you have to get up and go play at the YMCA. Kit, What? This one? Good morning. I can't see the whole table. You got a honey bun? Honey buns are tasty in the morning. It's hard to wake up early. Where's Pete? Oh, there's Pete. Good morning, Pete. How are you? We're gonna see how the dog does without us today. You think the dog is gonna be happy? Well, the dog is gonna stay outside for part of the day and then come inside for the other part of the day. Until we know the dog doesn't eat the cat and then the dog can stay inside. I think this definitely means our high chair days are limited. Yeah, you're not supposed to be standing up like that. You're gonna hurt yourself, look at you. Did you do that on your own? Uh-huh. Can you say, hello? Hello. Good job, say mama. Can you say, dada? Dada. What about, uh-oh? Uh, oh. About night night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Those are lots of words. Say thank you. Thank you. What about please? Okay, I don't know what that was, but it sounded important. Say love you. Bye bye. <laughs> How about wave bye bye at the camera? Bye bye. Bye bye. Good job. You're cute. Okay, show me what you taught your brother to do. Do it again. Bryson. <laughs> you guys are teaching them how to pretend vomit. Because you know how much I love puking. You hate it. Do it again, Bryson. Bryson. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are such an influence on me. And look who's right in the middle of it all, Miss Rosie. Mama! <laughs> I, I, I use the water in the kitchen. Why do you use the kitchen? Oh. Okay, everybody. Time to go. Let's get out of the door. Mom, the dog's out. Time to go to work. It's a work day for teachers. Uh oh, did your shoe break? We'll fix your shoe. I got it. Before he can have some go. Are you having some jello? Is that your sister's jello? Hey, look at me, Bryson. Bryson. Good. Yeah, is that good? Did you say cheese? Mm -hmm. How'd you get it on your forehead? You're messy. <laughs> You're silly. Love you, Bubby. What are you doing, silly Billy? Cheese. Show me what you're doing. Yeah, are you crawling under there? Show me how you do it. Here's all zelly. Cheese, cheese. 
Not in videotaping him. Yeah, yeah, he thinks I'm taking a picture. But <laughs> you're goofy. Hi. Oh, you're so funny. You didn't take a very long nap. Oh my goodness, look at that dance. And then Kason, he's got like a little Lego town going on here. Yeah, Lego town. Yeah. And then the dog. I think she likes it here, I don't know. I think she likes being part of our family. Mama, she does. <laughs>